Oh, I'm so excited. Welcome back. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Daniela and it's time to pick what books I'm going to read for April. Uh, now, last month I was slightly over ambitious and just picked a ton of books that I didn't exactly read. <laughs> so this month I want to try and be just a bit more realistic and I don't know, not put as much pressure on myself. So before I forget, the first thing I'm going to do is see what the April mystery book is. So for those who don't know, at the start of the year, I wrapped 12 books and every single book has a number in the title that matches the month. So like January was one, February was two, March three, December will be 12. Um, so this is April. It's a very thin one, which I'm so grateful for. And it should have the number four in the title. I don't remember what it is, so it's just playing into the mystery. Let's open it up and see what we got. Also, I want to mention that all of the books in the Wrapped Up series uh, I got from a secondhand bookstore, so some of them are not in the best condition. Um, but that, it just makes it more fun. Okay, so this is the April book. Can you see what it is? You couldn't. Okay, can you see it now? This is The Sign of the Four by Arthur Conan Doyle. Oh, I'm so excited. I love mystery and this just seems like such a short and nice book. So I'm going to have a blast reading this. So this was the book of April. Now that we've seen what the book of the month is, um, we have the second part and that is deciding what books I'm going to read from the books that I've already started. So I have a list of 12 books that I'm slowly going through. Those are the books that I've already started and that I really want to finish by the end of the year because I've started them a while ago. So this month I think I'm going to read Don Quixote by Cervantes and this seems intimidating but I've already read the first part because this book has both the first and the second volume. So I did read the first volume already and I just I have to read the second one now so um i will attempt it uh but the writing is very small so we'll see how that goes um but this is a challenge for myself and then i have republic by plato i think i've had this book in every month's video this year possibly um but i just i can't get myself to finish reading it and like, I don't plan on finishing this in April. I don't want to put that on myself, but I will try to read even a little bit from it. So this is Republic by Plato. I hope I'll get at least a little bit through it. So hope for the best. Now that that is out of the way, it's finally time for my TBR jar. So here I have written every single book that I have unread in my bookshelf, both this and the other one, because I have two. And um, the way I do it is I pick three books and then I also have three veto. Mm, let's see. I also have two vetoes, but I've never used them this year so far. And I just try to actually read the book that I pick. So this is going to be interesting. So let's pick the books. Okay, the first book. Some of them fell down and I'm just going to put them back later. Okay, I don't want this to fall. So the first book, I'm going to show it to you first. This is the first book. What is it? This is The Golden Child by George C. Chesbrough. I don't know what this is about, so this is going to be fun. I'm going to pick all of these and then I'm going to pick the books. The next one I have, go to the bathroom. Okay, it's this one. Oh, it's a tiny one. This is interesting. Okay. Haven't seen it yet. Can you see what is it? I think it's backwards. Can you see what it is? 
This is Silky by Leo Rostin. I really wanted to read this again. I don't know what this is about because the majority of the books that I have are from my book buying spree that I did last year when I went on this secondhand website for books and just wrecked habit. So I'm looking forward to finding this in my bookshelf. And the last one, click this one. Ooh, is it only one? Can you see it? Yeah, it's only one. I like that all the colors are different as well. Okay. Is it backwards again? Can you see what this is? Okay, so Tom Brown's School Days by Thomas Pugh. So I'm actually really excited for all the books I'm, I picked. So let me find them in my bookshelf and then also pick some books that I do want to read and well, do want to read besides these and then I'll be right back. Welcome to my other bookshelf and let's find all these books. The first one is Tom Brown's School Days by Thomas Hughes. Now I do have this organized alphabetically so let's look for H. This is this one. Now, the second one is The Golden Child by George C. Chesbro. This one here. This one here. And then we have Silky by Leo Rossi. So, R. This one here. Now, let me pick some books that I feel like reading and then let's talk about them. All right, so I'm back from picking the books. Now, let's first go through the ones that I had in my TBR jar and then some that I've picked just because I feel like reading them. Now, the first one that I picked was from the TBR jar was Tom Brown's School Days by Thomas Hugh. Now this book says that it's an enduring popular classic that has defined the upper class schoolboys in the 19th century to the world. So this is going to be interesting to read. I feel like this is somehow a classic or at least goes towards the classic category. So I look forward to it. The next book is The Golden Child by George C. Chesbro, and as you can see, it was also a motion picture. So for this book, it says that in the tranquil cloister of Tibetan monastery sits the golden child, a magical boy of such purity and goddess that everyone he touches is imbued with his mystic grace. Down the mean streets of Los Angeles, Chandler Jaro, Jural, uh, patrols a uh, wire cracking private eye specializing in the recovery of runaway and missing children. When the Golden Child is ingeniously kidnapped and spirited off to California, the evil Sardo and his fiendish accomplices he must rescue at any cost. Facing the forces of supreme evil with a handgun, a beautiful oriental client, and a growing sense that the whole thing is an awful mistake, Chandler must find the boy before it is too late. So it's giving um, fiction, it's giving action, it's giving, I don't know, crime, mystery. Um, yeah, I look forward to it, especially since they deemed it good enough to make it a motion picture. But, you know, that's kind of a double edge since sometimes they make some god-awful movies for god-awful books. So let's hope this one will be good. So the last book that I picked from my TBR jar is Silky by Leo Rostin. Apparently it's an outrageous thriller. So this is about an ex-cop, a robber, a maven on everything from karate to knishes. Plus he's got a juice pot? I don't know what that means. As big as a Bronx Silk as the Bronx. Silky is blessed with the roguish Irish partner, their agency is called Watson and Holmes, a sleepy nephew and a peculiar dog named Mr. Goldberg. Now he's got his hands full with Kimberly Marsh, very beautiful, very rich, very scared, who believes on the basis of very compelling evidence that somebody wants her dead. 
from the elite east side to the washed out west side to the exclusive sort of showdown at Lincoln Center. Silky and Kim dodge Chinatown cheaters on cocaine killers and fall into love along the way. Oh wow, so both Silky and the Golden Child, I feel like they, they kind of go in the same category. They're both crime thrillers and just kind of a bit of mystery and a lot of action from what I've read on the books. So we'll see how they go. I do hope I like them and I am happy that they're on the shorter side. So if I don't like them, they'll be easier to digest. Those are the books from my TBR jar. And now let me tell you about some of them that I just, I just feel like I want to read in April. This is them. Um, first, I want to talk about Butter by Erin Clenge. I don't think you'll be able to see it because the title is just not very visible okay can you see that <laughs> um i just i love this this cover i yellow is my favorite color so that is one of the main reasons why i bought this i also think it's kind of genius to make everything yellow and just title it butter it's just i don't know it's nice okay so it says i can't take another year in this fat suit but i can end this year with a bang if you can stomach it you're invited to watch as i eat myself to death that doesn't tell me anything. It doesn't really say anything about what this book is about. I really want to read this and see how it is. Let's hope that this will be a good book. You can't see anything. Like, can you see the title? I don't think so. It's called Butter. The next book is Wife's Night Out by Sandy Leslie. Um, I picked it because it's a relatively short book and just if I get in a reading slump, it will be, I don't know, easy for me to read and just something to motivate myself to read again. I think this is a short story or, I don't know, it's on the shorter side. This is a bow. Okay, so I looked everywhere in this book and it doesn't say what it is about. Don't you just love that when books don't tell you anything about them and just I don't know, but again, this was two dollars each, three, four, five dollars. It's a very old book, so again, I can't blame it. Um, something with intrigue and just, I don't know, an easy read, I hope. So I'll tell you what it's about once I read it. We'll do that. Now, the last book that I picked is Those Who Blink by William Mill. And I just, I love this cover. It's so peaceful to me and it's just, I love this. This is a lot to write down as a description, a lot. Like, do you plan on telling the whole book? Because this book isn't that long. Like, who are you trying to catch with that description? But um, again, really looking forward to this. Oh my God, the description doesn't even end in the beginning. It continues to the end. But anyway. I was charmed by this cover and I really look forward to reading it. Remember how at the beginning of the video I said I wanted to pick less books so I don't overwhelm myself like last month? I just realized I picked nine books. Nine. I never learn, do I? Never. Anyway, these are my books for April and I really hope I'll get to read them. I will. I don't expect to read Plato. I mean, to finish reading Plato. I really hope I do get to finish Cervantes and the book of April. And the rest are just up to fate at this point. Or like, if I feel like reading them, that'll be fantastic. If not, I just, even two of them would be great. No pressure on myself. I just, if I don't pick books and don't motivate myself, then I'll be like, eh, I can leave this for later and I leave this for later. But if I do have a, just a pile of books around and I can look at it, I'd be like, hmm, yeah, maybe I should pick up reading and like, hmm, maybe today I'll read this book and tomorrow I'll read that one. And it just makes everything more fun and again, motivates me to read. So these are the April hopefuls that I'll tell you all about them once I hopefully read them. And yeah, thank you for watching this as usual. 
I'm pretty sure I rambled for a bit, but thank you for being here. Um, this was the April CBR jar book pick and yeah, if you liked it, leave it a like, comment and subscribe so you see more of me and don't you want that. Um, yeah, bye. I just give the earth my soul Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls